when we talk about AI assistant, of course, we are not talking about, you know, agent to agent or agent to care. We are talking about developers interacting. Now, the thing is with the, with the LLMs or AI, Gen AI is the prompts. They are the key. It's more like if you don't ask the right question, you won't get the right answer. So how do you also enable them because they need to know the right prompts or it's just like how it becomes easy for their workflow as well? Or do they need to know specific things to ask? Right. So, so our strategy has been to uh, to essentially have a, a middle layer of pre prompting that we do ourselves to give that context to um, to the LLM, whatever that LLM is, whether that's OpenAI, uh, Azure. Uh, right now, those are the two main supported ones, or uh, any local LLM that follows kind of the OpenAI uh, is an OpenAI compatible uh, LLM. And um, so we've tried to take the guesswork out of that as much as we can. Um, but also we've given it access to essentially everything that you see in Lens. So uh, it has an awareness of context aware. Uh, so when you're in a cluster, it understands that you're talking about this cluster, this namespace or this pod. Um, and so we've given some insights as, as far as on the back end in pre-prompting, but we've also um, given some examples of what can be asked. Um, we expect this to evolve over time, um, but it's as simple as, you know, the, the same question that a developer asks right now, um, you know, what's wrong with my pods or what's wrong with this cluster? You can start there as a starting point and then start to see the information come through. So um, again, taking you from commands to conversations, um, everyone, you know, if you have leadership asking you, hey, what's wrong with this piece of, you know, <laughs> infrastructure, you can ask that question. You can ask that same question, right? Uh, how does this AI assistant learn over time? Is it like whatever you ship it with, that's the only knowledge it has, or it's also context aware? So as I also everybody's environment is also different, they don't run the same kind of environment. So as the the teams use it more within a specific cluster, it, it learns from that and it kind of gets more fine tuned and optimized for that specific uh, organization, or it's just like, no, it's just flat, same for everybody. Well, so I, th I think it kind of starts wherever the LLM is, right? Um, but then what what it has access to in terms of you know locally on the you know the desktop application, uh, it, it has some contextual awareness. Um, we go a little bit further than that uh, by also having the ability for indiv individuals and companies that adopt uh, to go in and put in specific r rules or requirements for um, the AI. So uh, that's as simple as you know if you want it to, uh, for example, if you want to say, hey, speak only to me in German. Uh, for example, it can, you know, it can do that. Um, but then if there's other things, more technical related items uh, that you want to pre prompt it with, you can do that as well as an individual user. So it's not just, um, you know, and that, that can be at the organizational level. So if your company has some, you know, some things that they want to kind of codify of, hey, this is how we, how we do things, um, then, you know, that's, that's what the, uh, what Lens Prism would abide by, right? In the future, so what we um, what we're looking at now is so because the, you know most of our users come to Lens um, not just for um, you know creating another terminal session, they come to Lens for visibility and seeing uh, these kind of beautiful reports and and so forth. Um, and and navigating through kind of the different information pieces inside of Lens or that you would want to see in your clusters. Um, so in the future, what we're looking at is uh, um, essentially hard coded uh, links. So as um, as Lens Prism surfaces information, it would also have a you know a link to that specific log, for example, and you can go and see that in the context inside of Lens, uh, or you know go into a specific dashboard or what have you within Lens. Uh, so connecting again the agent or the, not the agent but the assistant with the uh, the UI. 